Welcome. These are the instructions for the basic three-player game and the basic four-player game of Mutation. We're going to do both instructions on the same video because they're virtually the same game, except the three-player game has one less player now, doesn't it? The general idea in both games is each player starts with two pieces and they're spaced as far apart as possible and they try and move these pieces as close together as possible. Of course your opponents are trying to do the same thing and they're trying to stop you and that's loads of fun, I promise. We only need to learn three things. The start position, the mode of play, and the winning position. The start position is simple, it's just a cube, and of course we all know what a cube is. We're familiar with the uh, six four-sided faces, uh, but most people don't pay as much attention to the eight points or vertices. That's what we'll focus on here. We'll go into it in a little more depth because we can learn some cool things about the board itself. Of course, a cube has eight points, but a tetrahedron has four, exactly half a cube, and that's what a cube is, is two tetrahedrons. Uh, they're what's known as dual. Here we can see a black tetrahedron and a white tetrahedron, and they're exactly opposite. That's what we're going to use here. First, we just need to pick a color, because each color on the board is a cube. Uh, any color will do. In this case, we'll pick purple, because purple is such a cool color. So when we look at the eight points of a purple cube as two tetrahedrons, uh, the first thing we notice is that four of these points here are purple triangles with a different color circle. The other four are purple circles with a different color triangle. Okay, that's quite handy when we combine the two together. Uh, first we form a cube, but we can call this a perfect cube. And it's perfect in that the red triangle is opposite the red circle, the green triangle opposite the green circle, the yellow triangle opposite the yellow circle, and of course the blue triangle opposite the blue circle. So they're equally balanced. When we say take the four black pieces and put them on purple circles, then all we need to do is take the four white pieces and put them opposite. And that creates a perfect cube where red is opposite red, blue is opposite blue, yellow opposite yellow, and green opposite green. That's the starting position for the three and four player game. Once the board is set, the mode of play is simple. Each player gets a color and therefore has two pieces, a black one and a white one. Each player moves one of his pieces to an open adjacent space and passes it to the next player. It goes around in a circle like this until one player is able to get his two pieces in adjacent spaces. In other words, as close together as possible. That's a winning position. Now what happens if you only have three players? That's simple too. In this case, the yellow pieces become neutral. In other words, nobody has the yellow pieces, or everybody has the yellow pieces, but they remain stationary on opposite sides of the board while the players move around them. And we can add rules to this. For instance, we could say each player gets to move one neutral piece once during the game, and that makes it more fun. And that's the goal of the game in the first place, is to play the game and have fun with your friends.